Right, we're recording, it's on hold. Come on. You just stood fiddling with yourself in front of the camera. <coughs> Hello and welcome back to Bike Matters. My name is Brett and today we're looking at the all new Sinistrain 380, which is an A2 license friendly adventure bike. So yeah, first impressions looking at all that important spec. Stay tuned. Now let's start off with the engine on the Sinistrain 380. As the name suggests, it is a 380cc engine, which is a parallel twin, eight valve, four stroke, liquid cooled engine that produces 36 and a half brake horsepower and 35 newton meters of torque. So very respectable numbers for an A2 motorcycle. Now as the styling goes on the Sinistrain 380, I think it's a great looking machine and you can clearly see it's taken inspiration from other models out there. We've got this GS old school headlight, which looks great. I mean, you look at it kind of side on, you kind of see a Triumph Tiger inspiration running through it. But that's not all, we've got this aggressive looking beak, this large 19 inch front wheel, big upside down forks at the front, 17 inch rear wheel, we've got the crash bars, we've got the optional pannier and top box, it's just a great looking machine and very well sized. Now as colorways are concerned, we have this Rosso Red, which looks great. But another option out there is that satin silver finish if that takes your fancy. Now, as you can see, the Sinus Train 380 is quite a sizeful bike, but the seat height is 820 millimeters, which should be fine for just about everyone. However, for the shorter people out there like myself, we'll now put that to the test. So if I just rock it gently off its center stand, very carefully get my leg over. You can see I am in a tiptoe position, but I'm only five foot six. So I dare say most riders out there should be absolutely fine. Now, right in front of me is this fuel tank, which is 18 liters in capacity. Now the average fuel consumption so far has been about 50 miles per gallon. So all in all, we should be getting about 200 miles on an entire tank. Now, as you can see on the version we have today, we have these three aluminium storage boxes. We have the two pannier ones and that top box. In total, it's 105 litres of storage space. Now these are an extra, but for only 255 pounds extra, which seems like a bit of a bargain to me. Now, if I go to the top box, I can easily fit in my full face HJC helmet. But it's not just that, those panniers are really well sized too. So if you're going out and about or camping, those pannier boxes will really sort you out for that extra storage space as well. So let's talk about the equipment such as the dash and the switch gear. Now the dash itself is a seven inch TFT screen, which is all nice, large and quite clear to see. Below that is our typical dash warning lights. Now we do have two charging ports on this. We have a 12 volt charging port to the left and a USB charging port to the right. So really great if you've got a sat nav device and your phone to charge at the same time. The switch gear is also typical, nothing shocking here and it all works as you'd expect it to. When it comes to braking and suspension, let's go straight to the front where we have these two large discs with two piston calipers. To the back, we have a single disc with a one piston caliper. Now, when it comes to suspension, we have these mighty 41 millimeter upside down forks and to the rear, slightly hidden away, is a monoshock. So how much does this Sinistrain 380 cost you? Well, you have two options. Without the pannier boxes and the top box, it's yours for £4,495 plus on the road fees. With that extra storage, it's £4,799 plus on the road fees. That includes one year's roadside assistance and three years warranty. So all in all, it's a very competitively priced bike. Now I'm going out on the road to do a full road test review. Now, if you're not already subscribed to our channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ding that notification bell. Be made aware of when that review goes live. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like rating. We love it here at the channel. If you've got any comments or questions about the train and put that in the comments section below. But thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you in the next one.